Yeah, it's working on Facebook. Kayla's Sweet. getting Instagram going. That's why. We're working. Things are happening. We're now Honestly, live. Do this. You're live on both. I can't help it, but... Kate, you, you gotta do You gotta do, 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 do your do. Do. Welcome. I like this. I'm a... Welcome! Everyone. <laughs> I don't know. I can't do British. It's bad. I, I can't do it. Out of all, all of the accents, it should be the easiest, but I'm terrible. So, I'm Deborah, and this is Kelly. It should have been the other way around. She probably should have introduced. But... This is... This is Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Kelly. And I'm Deborah. And we have problems with the wands because we want to use them. <laughs> I know. I was like, we should not have the... No, gotta have the wand. <laughs> uh, at some point, we're going to hit each other. It's just... It's going to happen. So. so, we are from Lit Joy Crate. Yes. And we are live today to unbox the magical edition and to talk about all things Harry Potter. Uh-huh. And I'm super, super excited. I know. We... I curate the boxes and the Harry Potter ones are always like... I'm like... Yay, I earned it! I can do a Harry Potter page! <laughs> it's like my reward for somehow with all the work. And, um, Deborah, when we met, um, I was like immediately we knew, like, okay, Deborah likes Harry Potter. And um, it was like our bond. Just, just a little bit. I like it just a little bit. She's a which Harry Potter attire should I wear today? I'm like, oh, you have options. <laughs> <laughs> I have options. And I'm like, I pretty much have one. You know? Well, and I was like, I better wear my robes because I told my husband when we spent $100 on them at, yeah. at Wizarding World, he was like, you better wear those. Yeah, these ones are way nicer robes than like my Harry Potter robes that I got for like Halloween, you know, that are just like keep you warm, felt, but you know, don't look close. They have a wand. These are like nice. They have a wand pocket. I do There's have a wand pocket. Wand pocket. <laughs> That's <laughs> amazing. Woo, the Except dialogue. I skewered myself when I sat down earlier. <gasps> Wait, what? You can put your wand in there? Yeah, it's got a wand pocket. <gasps> Ooh. Easy access to curse. That, my God. Unforgivable curses. I need one of those. Do you know one of my daughter's first word was, words was crucio? <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> I, have, I have her aunt to thank for that. I'm trying to think. My daughter is actually really like Harry Potter. I do, I do stories about it sometimes. My little three-year-old has like a, the little, it's like a pen wand and she's always like, oh, she, she can't knows. watch Harry Potter without her little wand and it's like this. Do you she's let him like, watch all of them? No, we haven't gone past the first one, to be honest. We do. First one only. We do one, two, and three with my kids. I, I need to move to two. I think, I think we're ready. Four would be a little scary. So, should we just talk about some Harry Potter questions that we've had? Sure. Or do you want to you wanna do one item and then... Let's yeah. start with the item. and This is Alex behind the camera for all. <laughs> so yeah, let's start with doing an item from our magical crate and kind of talking about the concept behind it. And then we've got your three questions. And for anyone listening, go ahead and ask your questions um, as we get going. Because we'd love to <laughs> talk question one. with you. Why does Kelly own a McGonagall cosplay costume? Why, does not, why doesn't everyone? Question two, why does not <laughs> everyone own a McGonagall cosplay costume? <laughs> So these magical edition crates, I think, are my very favorite boxes ever to like grace the world. But <laughs> um, Kelly and Alex are so awesome. So they have done a box for all. Um, they're doing a box for every single year. So this is year three. Year three. <laughs> Prisoner I was like, can I say that? And every one. year that we put out a new crate, they, you know, people ask, "Are you guys gonna re, you know, put out year one or year two? And I'm like. Once they're gone, they're gone. We work with a lot of different small shops and people that create things that are one time only. So once these are gone, they're gone. We do have a few of the year three left, if I remember. Um, yeah, we do. And there's a link. In, many, there's a not too link. Many. If you're on Facebook, there's a link in the description. If you're not, if you're on Instagram, you can go to Litoy's profile and click on the link in that description, and that will take you to the site. So, Alohamora. <laughs> So what I love so much about these boxes is that I think so many with so many Harry Potter subscription boxes, you end up with like the very traditional, the letter, the wand, and you know, and that's all fun. Like a lot of that was in the first box, yeah. but I love that these are so focused on the year. So this one is all got stuff in it that's focused on Prisoner of Azkaban. So especially if that box is your favorite, this is what you need. Which I was surprised. So many people wrote in saying that that's this is my, my favorite. favorite book. My favorite book was Prisoner of Azkaban. And I get, it just didn't resonate with me personally mm -hmm. as much as another book, but... What's your favorite? Well, I think... I think we've had this conversation before. Yeah, Goblet of Fire was the one where I was like, yes! Like, it really, like, got me going on, like, being a huge fan. And then, of course, like, book seven. I mean... 
But for me, it's book, I don't know. it's all about book six. I love all the backstory. I'm a backstory like crazy yeah. person. Backstory is amazing. I right. love backstory. I also love the first one though because like that's the book that taught us how to play Quidditch. It taught <laughs> us about Brick you need to knock to get into Diagon Alley. It is really magical. Okay, so I'm gonna let you pull out that first thing right on top. Okay. So right away, I knew that I wanted this to be the first thing that people ran into, and I was hoping that the majority of you would know right away that it's a feather from Buckbeak, and this adorable little letter from Sirius, and it's also giving Harry permission on the back so that he can go to Hogsmeade on the weekends, right? And we did our best to, to try to put it in, like, the script we thought that Sirius would have. I love it. It's just so cute. I don't know. Alex did a great job on this one. This was kind of her baby to make sure this looked authentic. I was like, it will look like Sirius yes. Rocket. <laughs> okay, we... I know it's silly, but I looked a long time to find a legit butt beak looking feather. These are hard to find, guys. It's a very specific kind of turkey feather. <laughs> <laughs> buck beak feather. Buck beak has turkey feathers. Anyways, cute. Cute okay. little starter. I feel like we need to talk about this because I think it's the best part of the box, which normally is not what I say about a product card. But guys... The product card was the best part of the box. Look at this. That was also mine and Stephanie's. We like had many Marco Polos. Okay, well I'm not gonna talk about the product card because I know a lot of you like to be surprised. But the... Woo! <laughs> Amazing. We're getting hearts. We're getting hearts for it. People are like, I love it. <laughs> it's funny because the place we printed those from, they had to really kind of get creative on it. I'm and sure. they loved it. They had so they were like, this is the coolest project we've ever worked on. <laughs> We were like, we know. <laughs> we know, it's the coolest project ever. Okay, so let's, we'll save that for later. So, speaking of mar Marauder's Map, how would you use the Marauder's Map? Oh man, that's hard because I would, uh, I feel like I would be one of those people that would accidentally become super addicted to the map. <laughs> Constantly wanting to know where people that I didn't like were, or people that... So you could avoid them? Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's like an introvert's dream. Yeah, I'd be like, <laughs> I don't want to go over there, because that's where they are. And then I'd be like, where are the cool kids always hanging out? Whoa, they're hiding out in this corner, they're drinking butter beer. I don't know. <laughs> um, I don't think I would use it the same way as Harry, but I am so. Super, I would look at it a lot. I'm so super lame. Like, the very first thing, like, we were talking about this question this morning, I was like, I would totally use it as a mom. To, like see where my kids were. And I was like, oh. that is the lamest use of the Marauders map ever. <laughs> so this is like in reality, real life. Okay, I'm thinking. I'm just. Oh, if you were. At, oh, you could do both. If you were at Hogwarts, no. If you were like real life. See, I hit you with the wand. You knew it was gonna happen. I'm all. I'm back. Oh well. Wands are down. <laughs> wands on the floor. <laughs> it's probably for the best. Yeah, I would totally use it to make out with Cedric. Like, I'd be like, let's meet up right here. I'd be like, where is he? I would use it for boy crazy reasons. You'd stalk him? I would just, I would be so boy Alex crazy. Alex would use the Marauder's Map to stalk people. Yeah. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> or I'd be like, where does Snape sleep? That's creepy. <laughs> yeah. Well, because I'm such, um, like, I love to observe people naturally, and so I would just memorize where people that I know are all the time. I'd be like, well, I know that they're always pacing here, or they love to go out here. Like, I would just study that thing like crazy. That would be like, awesome. And then to avoid people. <laughs> <laughs> also. <laughs> Should we pull out another Yes, item? let's do another item. Okay. I'm all... Like, I don't know what's in the box, but... Yeah, you, nice. like... Yeah. So... Yes, okay. okay, so in the first year's box, we did do... It's behind you. The platform. Oh, I'm a what? Oh, the the, the platform nine and... We did the platform nine and They're so quarters, pretty, too. And I was like... I, there's not like necessarily an official. How are we doing there? Official um, night bus ticket. So we had a friend of ours, uh, Melissa Calligraphy .org, help us kind of create this ticket um, because I thought it's just a perfect trinket to have. Like it's one of those things. I'm like, yeah, to have it. You know. Well, and I think it's a good representation of the night bus. It's yes. Different. The and it's like gold foil too. So I thought it was like really beautiful. I like that it has the price on there too. And the whole time I'm thinking, how does that system work? The night bus system is so confusing to me, but I can't go there. Can't go I don't know. I, if, I, if I delve into the night bus, I'll never come back out. <laughs> That's one of many things I That's just sad, like, that something could get me going Oh so my long. gosh, they should do a ride, like a night bus ride. Right? Why haven't they done that? I don't know. They should replace it. the hippogriff ride. 
in yeah. California. <laughs> what is that? I mean, hamburger bread is cute now, but it's cute. It's just not a very like good. a night bus ride is perfect. Oh, it's like mm -hmm. almost like bumper cars naturally. Um, it means safe. Says hell yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like all cats. You guys, it's all. Let's hey. all make this happen. <laughs> we should be in charge. Join forces. As the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, we would have made better rides. They'd be it's like, true. They'd be like, they're like, hey, sure, we're wealthy, that? and you guys just sit there and do your lives. <laughs> <laughs> So, how about... Okay, one more. Do we have one more? Yes, do another item. Okay. I think people are excited to see our magical crate. I think they're excited to see um, okay. what, getting... what we did for your three. Okay, I'm you really proud of this. I'm getting crinkle everywhere. That's part of the fun. Okay, so when I was designing this box, I knew right away we had to incorporate like an actual time turner. Okay, I'm like, we have to do that. Not every... So a lot of people have the time turner? Yes. And a lot of people don't have them. And also, I try to keep the boxes unisex because I know that there's a lot of boys and girls purchasing this crate. So, we purchased the necklaces so that everyone had one if they didn't. And we had this amazing idea. One of the gals on our team, Kelly, was like, there's these cool boxes. They're called membrane boxes that yes, open up. She's not crazy. There are two Kellys on the team. Yeah, there's two. <laughs> there's the first, there's the third person. Anyway, so I was like, perfect, because I was looking for a way to suspend them in time. And I was like, well, that's just not going to happen. But it happened. This is what, I love these boxes so much because even if you're not going to you're not going to wear, wear it. it, you can still display it's it. It's perfect to display. Well, and even if you want to wear it, like, look, you just go, whoo, wear your time turner. So, yeah, these boxes like have this kind of membrane-y feel to I'm it. I'm kind of delighted with how that It's like a is. shadow box. It's great. You could put lots of fun things in there, but see, it's perfect. You wear it, and then when you're done, put it back in your box. It's kind of awesome. So, right away, I was like, have to have that. Obvious. But I wanted to come up with another kind of creative time turner item because it's so like central to the whole story and my confusion of the story <laughs> but we don't yes. talk about we'll talk about that in a minute but Hermione with the time turner is so iconic and we decided to do a way fun little tote because Hermione I'm like what was Hermione needing with the time turner right she specifically got the time turner to go to double the classes so I figured she needed some sort of a bag to help carry all of her extra books because who who is the artist on this? I really love this depiction of Hermione a lot. Oh, I can't Here. remember. I can look. All of a sudden, because... I have the all mag the all magical product. Oh, right. Melody Howe, the imaginative That's illustrator. The imaginative, 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 imaginative. <laughs> oh yeah, Melody. I really do have a college degree. She was fantastic to work with. And when she was like, here's what I'm thinking, and showed us the design, we were just like, yeah. Yeah, like, <laughs> I love, I don't know if you can see that that closely, but I love this depiction of Hermione. That's actually, like, exactly how I like, you guys see that okay? in my head. Spells, potion, books, Tara says, that is fabulous. We're getting lots of love for the tote. A lot of the people are The tote is great. It. And I just, like, the whole thought process for me behind it was, like, Hermione's using this to go to extra classes, so she needs a tote bag to carry her books, because... Do we see them ever carrying books? No, oh, seriously. Just saying. Yeah, that's a good Except question. Except when she like pulls out in the first book, I picked this up for a little bit of light reading. That's like the only time you actually see yeah. a book in their hands. So the tote is great. And it like I will say that I use this tote actually to for library books. Um, because I take my kids to libraries on Saturdays and then my husband drives past the library to go to work, yeah. so I make him take the books back. And so I use it kind of like to like shuttle them back and forth. And it is held up awesome. It's really strong and really sturdy. So. And it's pretty. And, <laughs> and it's pretty. Most important thing is that it's pretty. Okay, so now that we've been talking about time turners, we need to talk about this. Is the time turner a plot hole? Yes! Okay, wait, hold on. <laughs> Wrinkle Pages said, I use the time turner to actually read books, kids. They make it difficult. And I'm all Wrinkle Pages. We hear you. <laughs> yes, it's true. You, we've had... After you have kids, you have to get creative with reading. Well, at least I do. You're yeah. like some natural speed reader, but I, uh, yeah. Yeah. She's all, this took me forever. Or I maybe three I, days. <laughs> I, 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 I mark a folder the other day. I was like, I'm so sorry. This book is taking me three days. And I was like, the shame. I know. I, I only have, I have one super, I have like one super talent in my life and I can read really fast. I feel like you have more talents than that, but that is one big talent that, I but I don't have, like a, like, a talent show talent. I don't have a talent show talent. She just sits up there. She's like, I read the whole book in three minutes. <laughs> That's all I, I got, people. That <laughs> That's all I got. Okay, so, so let's talk about the time turner plot hole, guys. Okay, if you see the, know. like, how it should have ended, Harry Potter <laughs> one, where Snape's like, hang on a second, grabs the time turner, puts it on, and goes back and kills <laughs> Tom, Tom Riddle. Tom Riddle, right? And it's like, done. 
Like, I just, okay, so for me, the time turner, I'm like, why are, are is it something that's really, I mean, because they make the point with the invisibility cloak that it's rare. Yes. That, like, no one else has one. So, like, is time turner, like, a rare thing? And if it's a rare thing, why did they give it to um, a 13-year-old? I just, I'm like, is it the only one in existence? And why is it not like something No, I think I read something that there are others and they're like strictly monitored or something, but it makes it sound like, once but again, how you... did Hermione get it for extra classes? Like, that... Yeah, like why was that something so important that she needed like... Well, well, and even if they're strictly monitored, wouldn't you think that like someone would be like, hey, killing the Dark Lord is worse <laughs> <laughs> using this strictly monitored magical device? We need device. to know all of the magical like boundaries around this item because well and maybe, maybe it can't maybe maybe you know i really want maybe it's the boundaries i need to know maybe it can only go that, back 24 hours because that would that fix, was my question that would fix the plot hole because then hermione can still go back and save buckbeak and sirius wasn't it like has a magical device will turn back time uses it to save buckbeak <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Are you clever? So if it could only go back twenty four or forty eight hours, that yeah. that would make a lot more sense for me. Why don't we just say that's what it? That's what J.K. meant when she did the time turn. Um, love me some books is like, hmm. I think there's an answer in Cursed Child. I know. I think there is some answers, but I didn't read Cursed Child. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. Don't need did me you? Either. No. It's. I think I'm afraid to read it. It has sat next to my bed literally since the oh day it came gosh. out. Why are you guys afraid to read it? I. What if it ruins things? I know. I don't. I don't think I'm emotionally ready to read about like the adult kids and what's going on and how. They're... <laughs> I like how we have to be emotionally ready to read a book. I do well because I'm worried there's like divorce no, happening. That's yeah. what I'm like. Well, and that like I, that's... I'm happy where I'm at with Harry Potter. I'm like I don't need anymore. See, that's for me like a, a struggle for me because I just I don't want. I don't know. I have this this vision in my head of like the main the the big three. And, like, I don't want that ruined. Like, I don't want, you know, the, um, Rupert Grant always was like, I think Ron, Ron would be, like, a drunk and everything. I'm like, no. Don't ruin Ron. <laughs> Ron, Ron, no. Oh. That's why I'm like, I don't want to know what happens. Because when you get to be an adult, apparently it's sad. <laughs> I just, to get an adult stinks. That's the moral of the story. <laughs> um, yeah, so Wrinkle Page is like, I've not read it either. Don't feel bad. Those seven will forever be the story. So hey, I, a lot of people are like kind of giving us hints about the time turners and how okay. it, how Hermione. Um, so it comes had. up in the cursed child. Yeah. So, so okay. So I that makes me. JK's like, I need to fix something. Yeah, I feel like <laughs> that's just like JK's way of responding to this plot hole. But she's all, but I waited fifteen years, so no one will think that I'm doing what they want. <laughs> He's like, I'll do it on my terms. Seriously, yeah. like, I feel, for me, I bought The Cursed Child the day it came out, so I supported JK, but I don't know if I can ever read it. <laughs> you went further than me. I'm like, I can't support this. I'm not buying I it. I think I have a copy over there. You know what? Okay, I have to tell you my daughter's favorite joke. She tells it to me, like, seriously, once a week. She goes, what's Harry Potter's favorite way to go down a hill? Favorite way to go down a hill? Uh-huh. I don't know. Walking. JK, rolling. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> That's why she's ever, she like it delights her so much. She like she'll tell it to cashiers at the grocery store. Okay, baby bibliophile said that we should read it. That it's okay. good. Okay. Okay. Really? It's not gonna depress me in any way because I need to know this now. Well, I don't know. Every good book depresses you in some way. Seriously, I get like sad for days after a good book's over because the people are gone. Yeah. They're gone. Well, mind. I'm like I. <laughs> I'll just I've, use my time turner and go back to. I've, I did I've read cried that over. Book. I've cried. Okay. <laughs> I've cried over probably Harry Potter more than any other. Like so, when the sixth book came out, um, it was a Sunday morning. It came out on Saturday, and it was a Sunday morning, and I was reading it. I was powering through it, and then somebody died, and I cried so hard that my parents had to leave me at home and couldn't take me to church because I was crying so hard. Allie's like, just read it. <laughs> <laughs> but Allie gets hard. I know. Is that funny? Because you haven't read it either. How have none of us read this book? I didn't actually know this until now. She owns it. See? We supported JK. Okay. It's okay. Awesome. Are we going? Where, where are Okay, we? no. Let's talk about some items in our magical Mama, crate. Back to our magical crate. Drain okay. Let's talk. <laughs> My favorite item ever. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the pageantry. <laughs> I 
I, you know, that's one of my favorite things about the box, though, is just, like, all of the little details. They do, the details are so on point. We could that. never put a plain white box in it. <laughs> never. We're like, must have stamps, ribbons, tags. This was a, okay, so, right away, obviously, when we were putting this crate together, I was like, a grim teacup would be perfection, right? A grim teacup would be awesome. But we quickly found out that that just, for a lot of different reasons, wasn't going to be the case. So I'm like, well, we still have to find a creative way to I do the grim. So we came up with this really fun mug idea um, where it has Trelawney's quote around it. It says, my dear, you have oh, the grim. The grim. I'm all, am I missing anything? And no. when you pour hot water in, then the grim will appear. The grim appears on the side. Because at first we thought, oh, it would just be really fun to have that in the bottom of a mug. and Or a teacup or a mug. And then we thought, oh, that'd be great. But then I'm like, this is a fun idea, too. Yeah, but I'm here. Uh, I, so I told I'll her. Go get I was, hot water. Yeah, she's gonna go get hot water. Awesome. I was like, I was like, Kelly, you need to put it in the bottom of the cup. And she's like, Deborah, I've tried. <laughs> there's a lot of reasons why that wasn't working. That now. nobody does that. And I was like, oh. I was like, there's a reason why it's impossible to find that. If you try to purchase one, it's like hand painted by somebody, you know, in a small shop. Oh, really? But to like manufacture it, it's quite a. I guess it would be really hard to like get yeah. it down in there. How would you even do that? There's no really way to print that, huh? Eh, I talked to a lot of people about it, and it was just not going to happen, basically. So, this was kind of my plan B, which I actually really love. I, I love, love it, too. I was like, heat-changing mug. It was like, perfect. So, again, we had Calligraphy.org help us. She did, like, the hand lettering to look very, like, artsy and Trelawney with some tea leaves. And then when you put the hot water in, that's when the grim appears. And Alex is... Yeah, we can move on to another object. We'll, we'll talk about item. something else, and then we can... Yes. I'm going to see if anyone's left any comments. Oh, good. I'm so glad. Love to dazzle. I'm glad you love your mug. Yeah, it's awesome. It's yes, uh, there are still some th year three boxes available in our shop. We um, we try to kind of make sure there's enough to get through the holiday season and to last until our next box, but we I don't think we're going to last that long, to be honest. No. We, we only do it twice a year, and we only have a... F and the first two are sold out, and the first there's yeah. some three. So if you're on Facebook, you can look up in the description. There is a direct link to the Magical Crate, this year's Magical Crate, um, that you can buy. Or if you are on Instagram, you can go go ahead and go into LitJoy's profile and then get to the page there. It's not quite as direct, but you'll still get there. It's, yeah. We're so, there. Okay. Can we talk about one of my very favorite things from all the boxes? Yeah. Are the oh. magnet bookmarks. Yes. There's a few items that we I like to keep like every in every box and I love the magnetic bookmarks. We've included magnetic bookmarks in every one and they're all from Nerdy Girl Designs. And Melissa is so great to work with. She knows I tell her what I want. It happens, it's perfect. So there's Snape. Snape dressed as a you know, well, the Bogart, Bogart dresses dressed as Snape, Snape dressed as Neville's grandma. <laughs> That's quite a mouthful. I'm all kids Macy use it. And then we have the fat lady in the portrait and if you flip it over on the back it does have the slash <gasps> mark. I didn't even notice that oh, yet. Details. So there's the slash mark um, on the back side of the portrait, and then. So we need to pour it. Yep, go ahead. Oh, all right. Pour this. We're and going then the last one the is the shrunken head from the bus. Here. Here, don't do it. Gotta pull it perfect. We're all this is happening. All right, so watch our grim appear. Watch. How you do? Hold it! Don't fall. Here it comes. All oh. of my years of being a server <laughs> <laughs> come to good use. Is it happening? I'm like, give it a second. Or is it not hot enough? I don't know. I heated it up for like three minutes. It's not very warm. One minute. Well, dang it! <laughs> no tip for Alex. I'll be back with All more water. All her years of a server. As a server. <laughs> we're right. a waste! Come on. Come on. Okay, well, we're going to go back to these. Oh, there you go. I was trying to... I love that they have the slashes. It delights me so much. It delights you! <laughs> so we'll open them. Here you go. Let's see if we can... So a lot of times if there's a couple items that I'm not sure how to incorporate, like, physically themselves into the box, I'm like, this is a perfect bookmark. Because <sighs> I'm like, Snape dressed as a bogart, or a bogart dressed as a Snape, I was like, Snapples has to mom. happen, you know? And it makes me happy every time I use that bookmark. I love, you know what I use them for? I stick them on my Christmas tree as ornaments during December, oh. and then use them as bookmarks. So that's yeah, I use them in my planner to, like, easily Ooh, flip to that. certain places in my planner. I, I use them as bookmarks. That. Never thought about that, but that's a cute idea. They, they like magnet, they clip onto like tree branches really, really well. So. so, yeah. And then we, yeah, this is the other night bus homage was just having the shrunken head that's in there. True. So, well, and then 
in second year, didn't you have like some of the creatures you had? Aragon it was all year? magical creatures for year two because there were so many introduced that mm -hmm. book. I'm like, we'll just do a whole trio of that. And so we have Aragog, but he had like roller skates on. Uh -huh. It was a little like a mix of two and three on that because I know it. That's your but thing I more, think but that, you know, I was like, it's a spider. We gotta make it cute because you gotta make a spider cute. Cause I can't do spiders. <laughs> spiders are freaky. Yeah. Okay. Scary. Grab that one. This one. Yeah. This one. Yeah. That one. Okay. So <sighs> this took like mm. a lot of sniffing. We, <laughs> lot we of backed and forth on scents on this <laughs> for like a month and a half because I was like, I have a very specific smell, but it's so hard to describe and you know, scent. To, yeah, but we got it, and we nailed it perfectly. So this smells really good. This is, um, it's, it's just called Hogsmeade, and it's by Wiccan Fable. And I wanted it, because Hogs, I don't know if you guys knew this, Hogsmeade is always, um, it's always snowy. Um, that's why it's got a snowy label, it's very Christmassy, but it's always snowy, and it's not anything super magical. I think it's just because it's too high up altitude-wise. But it smells so good. It makes me happy, because it's got like a sweetness. Oh, we're going to try this again. It's happening. It's so good. If it's the last thing I do. Okay, back to this. The Grim. <laughs> we're all in. No. It's going to happen. It's <laughs> casting. Ah! This one's hotter. And it's slowly changing to the green. Some sort of oh, like... you can see it going up the bottom. There it goes. Okay. There it is. Okay. Can they see? Roll. Ugh. Clint, <laughs> Clint says... Everyone should put on the lip plumper right now if they haven't. My favorite item. Thanks, Thanks I Clint. Yet. Okay, wait, reintroduce yourself, guys. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm, I'm Kelly. And I'm Deborah. And we love Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> and we're from Let Joy Crate. We're from Joy Crate. We're talking about our year three magical crate box, and we do have a few left in our shop. That's turned out amazing. Yeah. If oh. it's like the gold against the white. A no match designer. She's using the Grim Mug right now. Oh! <gasps> And um, okay. how, the, how the Gal story art, which, you know, our friend, yes. she says she used hers yesterday. So everybody's awesome. using um, yes. them. Magical right. wrinkle pages. Can I give you this? No. <laughs> you must hold it for the rest. So we're unboxing our year three magical crate. Yes. Oh, so when we were just talking about Snape as the Bogart just a minute ago, what would, like, if... You, that was a question I legit have. Like, what would your Bogart be? Like, if you opened a... The cupboard door and there were the Bogart. What would it be? Well, like reading that and seeing it in the movie where they all line up to stand in line to see the Bogart, I'm like, automatically my palms are sweating because I'm like, I'm living that. Like, what's it gonna be? What's, what's it gonna, gonna be? be? Um, I really truly connect with Ron on this. I have major like arachnophobia. Like, spiders oh, like his, his freak spider, right? me out. Freak me out. Yes. So, um, what if your fear? Okay, sorry. What if your fear was that you show up to school naked, and so it's just a bogart of you <laughs> naked at school? That would be so awkward. Bogarts so awkward. It's so funny. <laughs> I don't. I really don't know what mine would be. I think just what naturally gives you like the heebie-jeebies. Ooh. Yeah, about that. Because cockroaches. Kinda... It would be cockroaches. Cockroaches. <laughs> I'm all <laughs> and a naked Alex. <laughs> and a naked Alex. Ah! Spiders, <laughs> cockroaches, and naked Alex. That's everyone's <laughs> fear. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's okay. so many things that could happen. Now mine would be a naked Alex. <laughs> so many bad things that could happen. You're just like, I don't know, what do I, you know, just be like going through your head if you're standing in line, like how many things you fear and just like which one's worse. But yeah, oh. mine is spiders, like legitimately. I'm never, still sitting here shivering over the cockroaches. Cry. I will, so that whole scene in the movie where you're physically seeing all those spiders creep down, I was like, I can't watch it. I have to like oh, go to the other room. Oh, oh, oh. But that's where we're like at the part of the. I am fully triggered by now. Fully we're, triggered. <laughs> <laughs> we are in like in the part. Of, I'm reading out loud. My daughter's the second book right now. We're in the part where like the illustrated edition has like spiders all over it. Yes. And they're like, I don't want to see those pictures. Yeah. Not tough enough. That was like what was hard is trying to figure out how to incorporate spiders into that creek. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, I don't want you. Oh, <laughs> so no. that's when I did the hair gog with the, the roller skates and all. I can handle that. But <laughs> but yeah, that candle, by the way, I burned it all December long. The one we just talked it's about. It's like very. It, it It's a warm hearth and like Christmas spices and pine cones. And I just imagined it smelling like all the doors opening and closing mm -hmm. at Hogsmeade as you walk out in the snow. Now you know what it smells like. <laughs> we can fail. Oh, okay, um, do another item. Oh, yeah. Oh, I was just going to mention that today we are having a flash sale on our past crates in the shop, which is awesome. Like, they never, ever, ever do this. So, 
Um, and does it, it last for apply to every crate? Is it it past crates. So right? just past crates, not magical. And it's 15% off, and we won't be doing another past crate sale for at least eight more months. So, and I believe if you like, if you are all over the tea and stuff like that, there is an awesome past crate that's in there that has my favorite print of Magana, uh, not oh, Magonagal, Trelawney. Trelawney of all time. And that's the leaf reader. So if you need a little more Trelawney. It's like a tea lover's crate. It's really fun. It comes with a, a ceramic teacup with a saucer that you get to um, decorate. decorate. And it's, um, what am I, a planter. You can use it as a planter, but you don't have to. But it has a hole in the bottom, so you can actually put a cute little succulent or something in there. Really cute. That right. goes live later today. So the pass crate sale, some people are like, I don't want to leave. Um, but the pass crate sale goes live after this live. Uh, oh yeah, so it's not live yet, so don't leave us. I'm trying hard to not tear this box at all because it's so cute. And I'm all just rip it. Open it from the bottom. Oh, well, she... I got it now. Oh, okay. <laughs> like... So this is so this is the Dementor kit. This is such a cute touch. I thought that they these were all part. This was another together. one where I'm like, this can't just like I can't put a Dementor in there, nor would I want to necessarily, because you know, I'm off the So <laughs> open the top. So I was like, a Dementor's repellent kit. That's we thought this Dementor. was a fun idea. And then the very first thing on the top is your Patronus. We just. <laughs> I was like, we designed it. Like, <laughs> there are six different Patronuses that you could get, um, and there are all of the main characters basically represented. So what did we get? Oh, we got otter. the otter, which is Hermione. Cute. I don't know which one I got. Oh, my God, go look. They're really cute, and I love these. They're beautiful. It's the same gal that did our um, tote. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, the imaginative. Uh, why can't I remember? Imaginative. Kind of... Illustrator. Illustrator. Yeah. Yes, she has such a beautiful way of doing these. She's got, I really like her style. Yeah, so we had a terrier for Ron, we had the doe for Harry, we had this, um, we had Luna's, I'm trying to remember all of them, but. I don't remember what Luna's I was is. curious to know everyone's Patronus pin, which one they got, because there yeah. were six options. So, Patronus, they'll protect you. Wait, so what's your, what's your, have you taken a Patronus test? I took quiz? a Patronus test, but you know what's silly? I missed one question, like, I guess it was timed. Oh, and I wasn't paying attention to something, and it just went by. But it, I came up as some sort of a stallion or horse. They're like you're a sloth. <laughs> <laughs> you, well, you were too slow. You're it worked out. <laughs> I just missed one question, so now I'll always wonder. Oh, Luna is the silver hair. That's right. I remember that. So mine is. I took the quiz, and mine is a Jack Russell Terrier. Oh, you're a Ron, and I'm like super not a dog person, so I was like, it lies. But are true. you a loyal personality? I don't know, maybe. I think you're pretty loyal. Oh, I was like, I, I like don't you. Like you. I don't know, I'll just cut you out of my life. It's cool. I'm good. I, I'm just going to go. But I um, want to know, if anyone ha who's watching has purchased this crate, I want to know what, what Patronus you got. you got. I love a little oh, otter. Sorry. Okay, so what else is in this in this little Dementor repellent kit? Of course. What else but chocolate? We gave everyone a few chocolate So we have a, a deer hound, Patronus. A deer hound? Oh, yeah. wait, is this on the test or in here? In, on the test. Oh, on the actual test. So, okay. But they got the silver hair in their crate. Oh. So I was so mad about my Jack Russell Terrier that I actually made a new Pottermore account and took the test again. Ooh. And also got a Jack Russell Terrier. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, that's awesome. I was like, it's, it's going to aspire against me. Well, so. yes, we have our cute little black chocolate kisses because it's, the Dementors kiss, haha. But this is, um, it really helps, right? The chocolate. And then, lastly, we have this little adorable roller. And this is the lip plumper. There you go, sorry. And it's the Dementors kiss lip plumper. And it basically has a really yummy, like, kind of red hot cinnamony flavor. It's supposed to, it. to be spicy. It is supposed to be spicy. Because it's a plumper. And when you put it on, it just slightly agitates your lips enough and it kind of makes them voluminous. A little poofy. <laughs> um, but it kind of is addictive. I use like it all the this? time. Like this. <laughs> <laughs> um, and this is by Nina at Literary Apothecary. I love her stuff. I know. I'm all here. I just love the smell of cinnamon. I use mine every day. I like wake up, get ready, and then I put my lip plumper on because I like the tingle. It is a little bit addictive, but like tingle, I like it a lot. So, And that is like, we were just having fun with it. Like That's cinnamon what bark. it would feel like if you got kissed by... 
Like, it's cute. If I had to mentor her, but well, probably also, a little worse. you put it on and it would keep them away from kissing you. You'd be like, is Double it edge. cayenne pepper on your lips? Didn't you guys know that was their weakness? <laughs> no, 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 far. Cayenne pepper. <laughs> okay, so that's all of the little Dementor repellent kit. Very cool. Yes, yes, yes. Here. For those of you that are just joining us, this is Kelly and I'm Deborah from Lit Joy Crate. And, you know, on Wednesdays we wear Harry Potter, so that's normal. <laughs> <laughs> I dropped my daughter off at my mother-in-law's this morning. She's like, what is this? And I'm all, have a good day! <laughs> <laughs> I got my daughter to like a nanny's house and I was just like, no explanation needed. It's just Wednesday. <laughs> People in our lives don't even ask anymore. <laughs> Say that on Wednesdays we wear Harry Potter. <laughs> uh, on Fridays we or on Wednesdays we wear pink. We're like <laughs> we wear Potter. <laughs> we wear Potter. Okay. Yes, yeah, so let's do another item and then we can do a question. Okay, we're getting down item. to the bottom here, I think, right? Yep, I yes. got three more items in here. Perfect. Let's do one more item closer. and then a question. I had so much fun with this one because I was like, I have to have our <laughs> blown up Aunt Marge, and I'm all, well, she's all round and huge. What else would be perfect but a coaster? Because like, had to be perfectly circular. Perfectly <laughs> round and circle. circular. Baby bibliophile's like, that's awesome. <laughs> I love it so much. <laughs> okay, that's, a, so, so that, okay, let me, so Melody Howe is the, Howe is the Imagine Illustrator. Okay, I think I got somebody mixed up then, huh? Um, no, we have all the different, different art. We do. And then, we work with a lot of artists, and I apologize if I'm getting these guys mixed up. So Sarah Conradson, and yes. that's her handle. She actually does the Aunt Marge coaster for us. Did she do the pins too? Or no, the pins. Okay. The pins. I had that oh right. yeah, so Sarah is the pins. Sarah did our Patronus pins and the coaster. And okay. I giggled every time that she sent me like, <laughs> like so a work awesome. in progress. Okay. She's like, what about this? And I'm like, yes. If I'm laughing at it, just like... We love like, the seams bursting on that. You can see like her, her little Like her boobs seams. are coming out, and like her <laughs> seams are bursting, and her like eyebrows outside of her hair. Yeah, her boobs are kind of fantastic. <laughs> I just was like, it's perfection. So anyways, every time you guys use your Grim Mug, I hope you put it on Aunt Marge and giggle a little bit, because... Squisher! It made me so happy. This is a smaller inclusion, but I was like, it makes me really happy. I <laughs> love it so, 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 And it so has much. that like... Really matte kind of feel to it, and um, hey, so that 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 bears the question: If someone were to really tick you off, what spell would you cast on them? Would you blow them up? Whoa, that escalated. <laughs> <laughs> I meant I meant expand them, I'm all, okay. not explode them. Mm. I meant Aunt Marge them. I don't even know. Um, uh, no, it's bad. In is it just maybe it's just that they talk about those spells so often that it's always like, Crush you! I know. Like, and a septus and Septisemphrum. What is that one? Septisemphrum. That like Severus dreamed up and I'm like, dude, that guy was messed up. <laughs> From like when he was little? Because we could do a whole live on Severus Snape. I mean, but he has my heart too. But he's also kind of messed up. Messed up. He has messed some stuff up. going on. He needed therapy. He <laughs> lots needed. and lots of wizard He needs some like therapy. wizard therapy for sure. So, okay, next okay. item. Um, is... Someone asked if the oh. coasters were waterproof, just before we move on. So, they should be waterproof. They didn't want to ruin them. Oh, yeah. Oh, but yeah. They're, they're made to use. Yeah, so, they're like actual so... coaster material. That's what I love about all these things in these crates is that they're, like, they're made to use them. They yeah. don't expect you to just display them all. Okay, how the gal says, Petrificus Totalis. So, they just stop. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Actually, the thing, the thing that we say the most like, whenever my daughter is scared, the other night we were, like, my husband and I were laying in bed, and all of a sudden we hear from their room, we hear, Expecto Patronum! And I was like, she's scared, go get her. Like, <laughs> <laughs> she's, like, defending herself, like. That's cute. That's what my girls use a lot, too. I just forgot about that. I think it's, like, that moment, too, in the it's movie where he's, like, like, Expecto Patronum! It's just so quotable. <laughs> I think if I could find a spell, I don't know if there's one in the books about where making people, like, they're talking, but nothing comes out. You know, the whole aerial syndrome, as I call it. Um, like, if I could make people <laughs> shut, shut up. Yeah. That's what Stop. I would use, <laughs> I had a friend that used to say she wants a spell that, like, when she's driving, that she can just, like, if someone's being a bad driver, she can just move their car off the road. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to hurt them. I just want to move their car off the road. Okay. That's a practical spell. I'm like, I want to see this one. This is one of my favorites. wrinkle pages. Yes, to that one. <laughs> okay, so this was probably the very first or second item that we had created for the um, for this box, and this is by my bookmark, 
and they are based in the Ukraine and they hand paint these beautiful bookmarks, okay? So we chatted about having a collaboration for this box and honestly, this one's a little bit trickier, but I was like, we will figure something out that's rad because this is such a symbol, like the symbol of like Sirius with his hands and is just like year three, right? This whole symbol, it's like kind of in there, but basically, have you seen this wizard? And then having the Azkaban sign with his hands, I was just like, love we're it. getting hearts. People love it. It gave me shivers. It was seriously like the best. So as you stick it in the book, yeah, his hands stick out from the top of the book. You can, we can probably take it out, but yeah, what's so fantastic is that um, I was, we were telling her we wanted all that like newspaper on the bookmark, which if you know their brand, that's not typically what they do. They keep it pretty simple inside there, but I'm like, I want it as crazy as possible, you know? Um, but it was perfect for this bookmark. And I think people have really, um, really enjoyed it. I've seen it in a lot of people's posts. And the other fantastic thing about my bookmarks, their stuff is like really hard to break. It's not like, it, it's pretty indestructible. Like I've seen her take hammers to it for quite a while before it finally broke a tiny finger. Ooh, Wrinkle Pages said we should do an entire box dedicated to Snape. Snape. When we're done. Oh. oh. She's all <laughs> ideas. <laughs> It's a great Snape. idea. Snape. Look, I Snape. love it so much. It's just the cutest. Dumbledore. <laughs> <laughs> Hermione. Do you guys know which YouTube video I'm referencing? Please tell me I'm not crazy. No, you, but you might be crazy. <laughs> okay. Is this Studio C or something? No, it's a Harry Potter Puppet Pals. you never seen that? Okay, we'll discuss that in a little bit. You guys, I feel like go I need to, to YouTube. Not now. But in a minute, go to go YouTube to and watch the Harry Potter Puppet Pals. Oh, we have a Hermione box, please. Okay, people are giving us good box ideas. Keep them coming. Keep them These coming. are great. Okay. okay, last item. Well, you guys, like, this was the very first item that I knew I wanted for this box. And then that bookmark was the second one. And when we kind of asked no, you guys... No, there's two items. There was a secret. Oh, that's right. Um, when we asked you guys, like, what do you guys for sure want to see in year three, it was hilarious how many of you basically said what I'd already started curating with um, Haley at Sweet Sequels, which was, we want a monster book of monsters, like, um, book sleeve. And I'm like, done. You got it. So we did our best because if you know, the book itself is a little bit trickier to, I guess, the orientation of the book is more down the spine and stuff. Mm -hmm. So we had to get creative with it, but I feel like Haley was awesome. I love the fur on the back too. And I was like, it has to be furry. <laughs> and so it's furry inside and out. So you did book sleeve in year two and year three. Is that something yep. you're going to keep doing, you think? or? Um, I don't think we'll do it in every box, for sure. I think we'll kind of mix and match where we feel like it fits. But like, that was such a good fit. Sorry, I um, decided that your Harry Potter and the Cursed Child needs to be in book sleeve. Perfect. Um, love to Dazzle says that that's her favorite item in the whole box. See, I look, think it might... it's a hardcover book, guys. I know, those book sleeves are fantastic, but we just about killed Haley <laughs> trying to get, get these all made. She's just, um, she's a small shop, guys. Like, she basically does this all herself. And so I'm like, I'll give you a break for a little bit, but I don't think we're, I'm not, def I'm definitely not saying we're not going to include more book sleeves in, in upcoming boxes. I just don't think it's going to happen in every box. Um, That's too bad, because I'd love to just have my books on the Oh, just because we didn't books, do it in year make, one. Make so. the book sleeves bigger and bigger so they'll fit the fatter books. <laughs> and on my shelves, I can just have... Okay, the, well, if you guys Harry know Potter, someone, Lit Joy Edition. Lit Joy Edition? That's a good one. Nothing can stop us from doing things in our shop. <laughs> and also, we can, I can discuss it. It also really... It's like whatever oh, the book idea, Robin. says to me. What did Robin say? Uh, she said, put the sleeves in your shop. And I'm all... Me and Robin, same page. <laughs> On the so monster book and monsters book sleeve, I think it turned out fantastic. I and this it. is exactly like the book description, not necessarily the movie. Mm. Um, we want it to be more authentic, and Haley was totally on board with that. So those eyes look so pretty looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then the very last surprise item at the bottom of the box, everyone was like, "Oh, there's more." There's a surprise. Which is we just really wanted to represent the Marauders, right? Because that's what this whole book was about. Was the Marauders and learning more about them and as, this as kids and adults. Was so on point. Uh, oh, they are in their very. They're like time. we got the envelope with one print in mind, and then when we put four in there, we're like, we didn't realize how good a quality they were. They're like really nice velvet prints, so you can rip it open because I have extra envelopes. I will rip that. It's fun to watch her struggle. I just like. <laughs> it's just like. So we got like um, Rob. Does he have a handle or 
art. Yeah. Um, I've seen his at Instagram, so I know he's... It's R Oil Art, Rob R.B. Oil Art. Okay. And he was just in a giveaway on our account, so you can find that on our account. I like. I will help you hold a couple, so I'll take these two, you grab those two. Rob Bruno. This is Rob me. Bruno. We had him draw these Marauders, and he's never drawn Harry Potter, and we've been talking to him for a while, and we're like, you need to tap into this. He is amazing. He draws um, a lot of DC and Marvel characters, um, it's kind of his specialty. <gasps> Look, their anime cases are at the bottom. I know. I think Lupin... It's got to be one of my favorites, though. Like, there's something about his soulfulness in his eyes. He looks good. <laughs> so, funny side story. This is Alex buying the camera. BT dub. But uh, I was talking, Rob was texting me while he was creating he these. Great. And he's like, thank you so much for giving me an excuse to stare at this face all day. <laughs> and, <laughs> he, yes. and I was like, I am paying you to stare at that face. He's all fair enough. <laughs> you know what's funny is we debated whether we should put Peter's you know, print in because we know nobody wants to stare at Peter Pettigrew, but we're like, he's, he's a marauder. Like, we gotta he's have so a girl's guy. I love it. But it's just it's fantastic. It's a good. Oh, Hold yes. On. Anyways, and these are really nice, thick quality. They're really You can thick. frame them, you can pull them out whenever you just want to have memories come to you. I don't know. Um, <laughs> memories. I like to Oh, pull and serious. He just got the face. He did such a good job. I really like serious a lot. And then James. And James. Always need some James in your life. Always need a little James. <laughs> so that's the year three box. And like we said, um, we have a few left in our shop. If anyone is interested, it's, this was one of my favorite boxes put together. And that's I'm awesome. excited. I'm just starting year four mentally. Mentally. <laughs> working on that. Um, but we will definitely for sure sell out of these year three before year four comes out. Um, and once they're gone, they're gone. People ask us that every time. We will not be putting out year two or year one ever again. So if you're interested, make sure to save up for yeah. year four. And then year five won't come out until the very end of the year as well. I'm excited. <laughs> so just a reminder, if you um, are just tuning in, there is later today a flash sale going live on past crates. So that's it, it doesn't work on the magical editions, but it does work on any past crates, um, any past crates in the shop. So... Not magical crates or new subscriptions. It's fifteen percent off. How long does it go for? It goes till Friday. Mon it goes Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then they will not be placed back on sale. So it's a good time to get gifts mm -hmm. and and to stock up on past crates because they will not be on sale again until the holiday season. And you should go like even <clears throat> if you are looking for a gift for like someone younger. My daughter loves, they do, we, we do a middle, a middle grade crate, and my daughter, who is nine, loves it every single time. So, um, that's a great option for younger ones. Yeah, or... We have a few picture book and a couple of middle grade in there, yeah. that are in the shop, and they're so fun. Do we have snow days still in the shop? Oh, I don't know. You guys are amazingly awesome. Wrinkled pages. Thank you. Well, thank you. You're all, Wait. you're all. Oh. I, I lost Thank my you. wand. I hit Kelly with it. And flew away. You oh, lost your privileges. You <laughs> lost wand privileges. <laughs> Wands are Where flying. I'm trying to think. There's like another question. Oh, more about year five, please. So, um, um, year five will be in December. Yeah, it'll come out. The like November, of, December. Somewhere it comes out in time for Christmas. In time for you to put it under the Christmas tree. Yep. Yeah. So we do them twice a year. Once June, July ish, and then the next time, November, December. Mm -hmm. Typically, as long as I can. Stay up on it. That's the plan. <laughs> That's what's happening. Um, and there I'm like, will be a cat plate involved. <laughs> oh my already, gosh! Please let me already cat discussed plate the cat involved. plate because Umbridge is just gonna be so much fun. I was just telling her that we have to do a live all based on whether who's more evil, Umbridge or Voldemort. Yes, that would be a good vote. I was like Umbridge. Umbridge. <laughs> I know. I wanted her dead so much more. <laughs> I know. I really would love to do an um, Umbridge cosplay though, all dressed in pink. Oh my. Well, we already know the perfect person for that. Um, <laughs> I, I read your mind through that entire <laughs> thought process. A fuzzy pink boa. That's funny. I'm looking at some of the questions I was thinking about asking about. Let's see. What would your animagus be? Okay, this is the last question, and then it's time to go. Okay. My animagus. Uh, we can't talk about Harry Potter all day. Ooh, a peeking pastel tea. What would my animagus be? Like, I get to pick it? Yes. Do you think that they had any say? That's or, what I'm wondering. Or does it just like show up? Like, you... does anyone out there who is is deep into Harry know the answer about the Animagus like, situation? Do you get any say in what animal you turn into? Because would Rita Skeeter really want to turn into a beetle? I would probably actually already know because I'd be a squirrel, right? 
<laughs> I've been compared to squirrels kind of squirrel. Uh, strangely my whole life by different people. <laughs> when I get really excited or anxious or nervous, I tend to get really anxious or nervous. <laughs> and I get kind of squirrely. So I think I would turn into some sort of a chipmunk or squirrel, but I would prefer a squirrel. I think that's my jam right there. Um, I'm not sure how proud I am of that, but I think a squirrel would be my natural inclination. Yeah. So would you pick that though? Or would it just, that's what that's you would turn question. to? Yeah, I think it'd be kind of fun. It's cute and cuddly. I can leap from trees. I don't know. Leap from trees. <laughs> I think I'd like to fly. I think I'd like it because because I'm such a natural observer of people. I could totally just spy on everyone. That's what I think. Like, Rita Skeeter, why would you choose to be like a beetle? But then you could like spy on everyone. Well, for her, yeah. yeah. What about you? I'd either like to be a horse. <laughs> a horse? A we horse. have cats and owls. I'm a horse. Oh, an owl would be so... I really think I would like to fly. And someone says they I... can see you being a squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I want to do the whole hacking up the bones stuff with it being an owl. Sorry. Mm. I think this through. <laughs> she, has, she has thought about this. There's other birds, yes. Eagle, maybe? I would be a dog. Like, I just know that that's what I'd end up being. I'll be a dog. They'd be like, and then here comes the Labrador. <laughs> a horse. I'm trying to understand, like, the, the appeal. Tell me. I don't know. I've always loved horses. My daughter loves horses. Okay. Which we always laugh really hard because, like, my husband and I are not outdoorsy, and then we, like, have this little cowgirl Ooh. of a child. A she, like, phoenix. I was like, are you guys Ooh. telling us what you'd want to be? Okay, well, yeah. if we can do magical creatures, that opens okay, yeah. up a, a unicorn. Door. I'm all, hello. Yes. Um, yeah, I'd be a unicorn. That that would happen. Mm -hmm. I'm all, well, then I'd be a bogart because then I'd be everything. You don't get to choose but your animal. then I'd kill you. So, um, hi, Lady this. Sarah. <laughs> Hi, Lady Sarah said, I just looked it up and you don't get to choose the animal. Crying emoji. Okay. Pretty sure it's But I feel like it's inspired by... <laughs> she just threw her wand at me. So, I feel good. We're, we're even. I feel like these animagus, though, do represent people's personalities to some degree, correct? I mm -hmm. mean, so, I think a squirrel's a so very a accurate squirrel. representation. You obviously would be a dog because you'd be a I'm terrier. a Jack Russell Terrier. Be happy about it! <laughs> <laughs> so... Is there anything else? I don't know. Like, the other question I had well, we is... we just lost our person who can end it, so keep talking. Um, okay, so, in year three, right, there's the time turner that comes through, so Hermione can do all the classes that she wants. Yes. And I was like, if we could only pick one class, what class one would class. you pick? Because there's so many good options, but I'm thinking, if you only could get one. One class. I'm like, is there one that talks about food? <laughs> because that's what I want. I want she like, wants to be a house elf. Well, I want to eat the food. <laughs> um, so dinner time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I want to make and eat the food. I really think potions would be really cool because you honestly wouldn't really have to. I mean, as long as you have the ingredients, you wouldn't really have to be magical to make any of that work. Yeah. So. Well, okay. Uh, last thing here. So. That was our... Thank you for going on the magical journey with us, you guys. <laughs> what about like that? I think once a month we'll do cosplay. For reals. I, okay, seriously, I think we're going to get Kelly and Alex to oh. eat Birdie Bots live on camera. Oh. I think that that's in like three weeks. <laughs> two or three weeks. Because next week we're doing the teapots. It's so fun. Next week we are doing, um, we, we were talking about the leaf reader a little bit earlier yes. in the live. Um, and how that came with a little teapot planner. So we are me, Alex, and mm. Allie. Are going yeah, to not, be. She's like, I'm not doing that. I'm not good at that. <laughs> We're going to be decorating those live on camera, so that will be fun and talking. But about here's the thing: aspects. Allie and me are like only okay at crafty stuff, so it'll be Deborah dealing with us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, that doesn't work. <laughs> it'll be so, entertaining. <laughs> so I'm excited about that, and then. Um, no. <gasps> oh, oh, sure. A mini wizard. <laughs> <laughs> a mini wizard just walked into the room. So. Yeah, so that's what we're doing next week. So we'll be live next Wednesday Ooh, at 11.30 Mountain like Time. And then, Kelly, you um, like so you witch. guys can... I do look like a witch. <laughs> you guys can hang out with us then. So it's 11.30 Mountain Time, um, 1.30 Eastern next Wednesday. We will be live on both Instagram. <laughs> <She's> like, <"Yeah." laughs> you wanted to be a professor that snacks the chalkboard. <laughs> I'd totally do that. I'd use Yay. my wand as a ruler. Uh, Ow, that hurts. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Un guardian leviosa. Un guardian leviosa. Un guardian